are missing and then it can't find them so I'm like whatever I give up but so um, a while ago we went to the color country for charity I believe I posted about that maybe I didn't I don't know but we're going back to it again because they're they hold two a year uh, so tomorrow we leave tomorrow we leave uh, tomorrow's Friday so we'll get there Friday check-ins are at like 5 to 6 30 and then Saturday and Sunday we run. Uh, yesterday I started cleaning out the horse trailer and the truck and just packing everything. Today I still have a lot more packing to do, including laundry. I'm not just packing for me, I'm packing for my sweet boyfriend Dylan, which none of you know about him until now. And he is going, he's driving, it's actually his truck and his trailer. But <laughs> yeah, so I think we're taking his mare. So we're taking Dash and his mare. Uh, yeah, I'm terrible at this. I'm so sorry. I figured I might as well go ahead and show you what the new trailer looks like. He bought this as soon as we got together. So this is his truck. I freaking love it. It's a six speed and it's um, a manual, which took a minute to learn. Like I already knew how to do it, but it was different with his truck. But anyway, this is this. This thing is super hard to move. This is what it looks like. I deep cleaned this sucker yesterday. Like it was way dirty. Like this was not even white. The dog stayed in here last night. We need to get these fixed because the horses like to chew on them and pull the padding out. Okay, so yeah, that that's the inside. I had to stop the video because Dylan was actually calling me. But this sucker is so hard to move. You'll see. The tack, back tack is kind of small. Actually, it's a pain getting things in and out, but it works for now. Okay. We're going to come here keep all the snacks in the door because then they're easy to grab and if you're muddy you don't have stuff on the floor i cleaned this thing last night and now there's grass all over it I guess we could call this the medicine cabinet. Okay, somebody's gonna ask. So we have mustard because Dash apparently has allergies or something and it helps him to quit coughing and then he runs better. So we feed him 40 cc's of it before running. Well, we have about an hour drive left. Dylan had to go to the bathroom, so we stopped. And apparently, uh, Bear needed to go to the bathroom, too. Now his paws are going to be covered in pee when he gets back in the truck. How wonderful. Look at that. He's leaving little... <laughs> yep. I didn't... I don't like driving with the windows down, so I just barely put these down as soon as we stop so they can see for a minute. Then I'll put them back up. But on this road that we're going to be taking, we won't pass any big vehicles or anything like coal trucks. So if I left them down, they would be okay. But I know it's like a safety thing. And a lot of people don't like it, so. Hi, Bear Bear. Oh yeah, we weren't gonna bring Bear. But then um, I didn't have anywhere to keep him because he gets out of my parents' yard. So now he's gonna come with us. 
I gave him a bath today. He did not enjoy it. His buddies on the other side of this. So what we so this is where we're set up. This is she doesn't really have a name yet, but yeah, just drives away with the truck door open. It's just me and Bear, I guess now. so uncomfortable. It's the most uncomfortable thing riding in shorts right now. No, 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 no. So Dash's grain has Purina Outlast and whatever else that is, and then mustard. It has to be French's for their allergies or else it won't work. It's something in French's, which this stuff tastes freaking great. I sprayed it in my mouth the other day for allergies. <laughs> Didn't buy shavings. The store was closed last night, so we just put back on trucks. We went and bought shavings today, though. So, last time we were at this race, we didn't stay in these stalls and a horse bit this and tore, tore it open. I was so mad about that. Hi, buddy. Hi, bear. There's a horse still going on today. The SMB. There's, so that made right, that gilding, number 64, it's part draft. I like 21. There's a lot of them that I like, actually. We're not, we're number 65 today, so we have a while. Michael's wife. The huggy boy. The who? The huggy boy. Oh, no. I had to mute this part because we were talking about somebody um, and I don't know if they wanted us to be talking about them. It was nothing bad and I finally had told him why I was videoing everything. So yeah, it's just muted for that person's privacy. Nice Buddy boy ran a 16-1. Really good. Tightest turns we've had. Except for besides the <laughs> Casa del Rodeo. Did really, really good.
when I owned Dash's mom, I always made sure to put liniment or something on her, ice her legs, anything to really help her out to keep her feeling good after running or after a workout. And when I was breaking Dash, I made sure to do the same thing, especially up on his back and everything. But then I started to drop the ball and yeah, stopped doing it for some reason. And the lady I ride for, um, she gave me this new stuff. It's new to me anyway, to try on him. I think it's called Isotite. So that's just what I'm putting on him in these clips because I want to make sure that he's feeling good and he deserves some sort of aftercare after running. I guess that's what we're going to call it. And af after, what is that called? I don't know, but that's just what we're doing here because I want to make sure he's feeling good. And then there is a bandage on his leg. That's because of... Uh, a couple days ago or so maybe a week ago i don't remember we noticed his back leg was cut open nothing really bad like it's really not that bad and it looked like it was getting better but somehow it got opened again so i talked to the vet that was there and he just told me what to do so i wrapped it up with some stuff on it and he's feeling fine so yeah that's what that is So, they're having the SMB horse sale right now. I have no money, but there's really nice horses in there. And I was like, I got to bid anyway. Whoa, my eyebrows. Okay, they're fine. Anyway, so I started bidding. <laughs> For a while, I was holding the bid. And my boyfriend was like, what are you doing? And then my dad got mad at me too. But it's okay, because they ended up pulling the horse from the sale. Because they weren't getting what they wanted for him. But yeah. Um, let's talk about the run. If I can set this down. for The horse sale is still going on. I'm going to go back in there in a minute. But I came out to get a water. So today we ran a 16-1. That is our fastest in this pen and anywhere. Why are my eyelashes so weird? Like this side is always so weird. This one's like perfect. Anyway, so ran a 16-1. Had a really nice run. Um, just like the run that we had in Casado for the Cowboys Memorial Rodeo. Really, really nice. We ended up third in the 1D for the Futurity and fifth two in the 2D in the Open. Um, didn't win money in either, but we have a slight chance at the buckle for the average in the 1D. So that's what I'm hoping for. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get a water. It's freaking cold. It is raining. I don't know if we can see this. Oh. See, it's raining and kind of cold. Also, this is how we packed. I packed this. There was like, there was six, um red bulls because red bulls are life a shit ton of water and then in here where all the grain and stuff goes i packed even more water you can't really see but yeah i packed a lot of stuff now we're gonna go back to the cell i don't have money to bid but i love dylan in there with my bidding book so we gotta go back also if your horse has ulcers Feed them this. Outlast treats. They're great. Can I afford him? No. But do we want him? Yes. Yes, we do. Ooh, that one's pretty. You're looking at saddles, so I'm looking at horses. Huh? You're looking at saddles, and I'm looking at horses. Well, that one's kind of like mine. I like this one. He's tall. It's $8,000 when you're away. Only eight? I wouldn't be. If you're looking for a high school rodeo, cash for cash, also plenty try on the top, on the bottom. On a Sheik's obvious last, by gonna be Sheik, by Sheik's last, also obviously a cowboy. He's 16 hands, he's a big pretty horse, quiet mind, a lot of ability, been used out on the ranch, 
in the mountains, trail riding as well as in the arena. Now $85 down here, giving $8,500 down here, $9,000 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 down
that sucked. Move this over here. So, uh, Chrissy Van on her horse Vans off the wall ended up winning the 1D for Charity Buckle with 31.533, and my times was 32.050. So that really sucked. I really wanted that buckle. And then to win the 2D buckle in the Futurity, you had to run a th your times had to equal 33.2. Um, so didn't win that one either. If I would have entered the Open today, then I possibly could have won the Open 2D buckle. But I forgot to enter, like I said already. But yeah, Dash has been running so good now that he's healthy and we got him on. He has taken, he's not taking a lot of supplements. I just, his pre-routine. What are you chewing on, dog? Bear, what are you chewing on? Um, His pre-routine is like more extensive than I've ever used. I do more for his pre-routine than I ever have on any horse. And then cool then um post run, I don't normally do anything, but I started doing stuff. Like I used to just do back on track and stuff, but I did more this time. I got some serious double chin going on. I did isotite and his back on tracks. So yeah. Whatever we're doing, it's working. It's working. Met new people, met old friends, saw them again, got to meet up with some old friends. It was nice. We said we were only going to go out to eat once. I think we went out twice, three times. So that was <laughs> so much for that. Like all this is, there's so much packed food because we weren't going to eat out. Didn't happen. Anyway. <laughs>